Hey guys, it's Bella from Bella's Toy Chest. So I decided I was going to go uh, ahead and pick some stuff out from my Superman cabinet and uh, show you guys. I got some really cool stuff. I got some stuff probably people's never seen. Um, so, I mean, who doesn't love Superman? All right. What should I start with first? Okay. So this is a um, rare Superman peanut butter. As you can see, this has never been open. Um, this peanut butter was from 1981. I've thought about actually opening it sometimes, um, but I'm allergic to nuts, so that'd be stupid. But anyway, this is the Superman peanut butter. And then I got something that's really cool. Okay, so how many of you guys actually watch Pawn Stars? I mean, I do, of course. So I got, I know I've talked about it, like I've told people I had it, um, but I don't really know if people know what it is. Um, I have an original 1939 Superman doll. This Superman doll was uh, featured on season 12 episode uh, Fender Bender. If you guys want to um, look it up, the guy I bought it from was the guy from Pawn Stars who went to Pawn Stars. So, this is the original box. I know it looks like a shoe box. But right here says Superman Doll Ideal Novelty and Toy Company, Long Island, New York. So, there's only 10 to 12 boxes known to exist in the world of the original um, Superman Doll box. So, this is made out of wood and hand painted. So, I have to be very careful. I didn't even want to take this out of my cabinet. So, let's admire. I'm going to hold them because I don't want him to fall out. Look at that. All right, so he has been a culture icon since um, making his first appearance in 1938. I don't know if you guys know that. The 1939 Superman doll was advertised for $1.65. This guy right here. I'll take him out. Oh, I really don't want to. So he does have some cracking some grazing this is his cape this is the original packing foam it came in it says on the back ideal superman novelty company action comics number one was simple red s is what it looks like it's actually uh looks like a police bag badge sorry And the S on his chest symbol means hope. This was the first super doll, Superman doll ever made. There he is. And then on the back, if you guys could see, so you know that that's the actual original box it came in. And this is made out of wood. Again, it's hand painted. So the picture of the day is going to be me with Superman. So I'm going to do that first because I want to take you guys along on my cabinet. I want to show you guys, but I have other stuff to show you too. So here is the pick of the day. That is Superman. Now I'm going to put him away. He's so old. I want you guys to watch the Pawn Stars episode though because it's pretty cool. All right, so I put that away. Now, um, I got this out of my cabinet. It's a kryptonite rock. Re recommended for everyone over six years and future space travelers. It's a non-toxic rock. 
This was from 1978. It's non-toxic. If you hold it up to, I'm gonna use one of my lights. Hold it up over there. And then you like close your hand. He glows. Pretty cool, huh? So it comes with two rocks. This is really cool. You know, something you don't really see often. And then I got, this is really cool. Um, this is from Mark's Toys from 1974. And it still works, listen. It's a watch. And then on the back, this is Mark's Toys. And then I got a, I don't know what year this is, it just says Hong Kong, a rubber Superman doll. He looks kind of funny. There he is. And then I got this metal, this is from 1978 from DC Comics. This is a die cast Superman. Now you can tell the difference. Look at his eyes. Look at his. This die cast, he's a little loose. And then one more thing before we go check out my Superman. And it's Superman and Batman all together. So this is Superman. This is a uh, bubble bath for children from Avon. All right, so this has like a sweet smell. So this is still sealed. Here's the top to the bottle. And everyone wondering who is Superman? Where did he come from? And how did he land on earth? Well, the popular hero first introduced in 1938 was originally from the fictitious planet Krypton. Did you guys know that? And then this is the soap bottle, the bubble back. When he was an on, when he was only an infant, his parents realizing that Krypton was doomed placed him in a spaceship headed for Earth. A childish couple, John and Mary Kent. Mm -mm. The name his new parents gave him realized he was possessed with. Oh. Sorry. Found the spaceship and legally adopted the boy and grew up in manhood. Clark, Clark Kent, the name his parents gave him, realized he possessed superhuman powers and he could use them to help people in trouble. So Superman and the person of Clark Kent decided to become a reporter on the Daily Planet. This is from this box. Newspaper where he could receive his first hand report of crimes in the making and the quickly changing into his Superman suit and save the day. This has never been open. It has such a sweet smell. I think my whole cabinet smell like that. So there's a little bit about Superman if you guys didn't know. Okay. Put that in there. Gently. There you go. All right. So you guys come uh, follow me to my display cabinet. So here is a little piece of my curio cabinet that has some Superman stuff in it. As you can see, I have a another ideal Superman from 1939. He's not in that great of condition. A Superman statue back there. There's some Superman stuff. A cup. This is a Batman. Batman and Superman always goes good together. There's another Kryptonite rock. Another Superman back there.
And then we got a Superman cup down here. And they've got some really cool stuff over here. There's some Batman stuff. Another Superman cup. And then finally up there, there's just a couple Batman and Superman stuff. I hope you guys like what you saw. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.